Hello and welcome to an introductory video on sync blasts for science and how to use them and how to send them to students and what they see when you do send them to students. So I'm in my teacher account here and I'm on my.mheducation.com and I have my classes here. Now you're only likely to have one class here, but I have both a biology class here and a middle school seventh grade class here. Know that sync blasts are available for middle school and high school. And when you have sync blasts, you have access to all of them for grades 6 through 12. It's a great opportunity to bring the instruction down, bring it up, give you a greater variety of blasts to choose from for all the students in your classrooms. So I'm going to enter my 7th grade classroom right here. Now, I also have uh, in the back, I have a student up and running. And so we're going to see what the experience looks like on Jim's side as well. Okay, so Jim's class is up here, and here's a sync blast, but uh, let's start on the teacher side. So uh, I'm going to open it, my seventh grade classroom up, and sync blast will appear right down here. Okay, so I'm going to open up sync blast, and when I do, a new window will appear, and it will look like this. Now notice I have 486 sync blasts available to me. That's a lot, and they come in a variety from ones that are in Spanish, high school chemistry, engineering, uh, ones involving the national parks. I've got a lot of variety here to choose from. And let's say I was to go into, oh, middle school life science, okay? I open that section up and I have um, sync blasts uh, waiting for, to me for middle school life science. A lot to choose from. And here's one on the coronavirus. So there's three new sync blasts uploaded each and every week. So you'll always have fresh ones uh, that relate to current events. So I'm going to open up this sync blast as a teacher. So this is teacher content here. Uh, it gives you an overview of the assignment, uh, what's involved, um, discussion questions that they're going to be, uh, associated tags, standards that are tagged with this. So. Uh, if I wanted to view this blast as a student might, and by the way, from overview, I can go to uh, background and comprehension. Know that I can also assign this at different Lexile levels. Okay, so I can choose a Lexile level. I'll show you how to do that as well. Here are going to be the research links that it's going to send students out to to do additional research. Now, it's a choice. You don't have to have students go out and do additional research, but I think it's helpful, and most of your students can handle it. These are vetted research links that we send uh, students to uh, for additional information related to this blast. And then I have the vocabulary in this, um, this lesson. So this is an overview, vocabulary, background links, gives me just the basic facts uh, of what this sync blast is all about from the teacher side. So I have an actions button up here. So as one of my actions, I could choose to preview this assignment. So I could see it the way a students will see it. So think of this as like teacher edition notes, right? Things that you need to kind of know a big picture overview. But let's see what it looks like on the student side. And when I do that, this screen will come up and this is what the students see. So um, I've got a quick poll, vocabulary, comprehension, and the blast right here. But in the middle here, it looks like I have a video that it's going to ask me. Uh, we won't watch the video, but your students will. If I scroll down, I've got some background information for this, this blast on the coronavirus. I uh, have some, usually there'll be a factoid or some sort of a number crunch. And 20, I wonder what that represents. Let me click on it and see. The CDC recommends that people wash their hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. I have I have heard that too. So uh, students are learning all along the way here about the coronavirus. And they have some additional links to get additional information related to this uh, internet current events activity. Now over here on the right, you have a quick poll, so it's getting their ideas from what they've learned, you know, are they getting the essential content, or what do they think about this. Vocabulary, right, so uh, here we have four different terms, and let's see if we can pull down and choose the correct definition for each one of these terms. Respiratory, I wonder what uh, means there, okay, so I can pull down and see the different choices. I have comprehension here, so uh, just to make sure that I'm uh, comprehending, if I'm understanding what's being shared with me. And then after all of this, I have a blast. Now, this blast is a way for students to share their thinking. Think of it as a tweet, because this blast will get shared with the entire class if you want it to. And students can do some peer-to-peer -peer uh, sharing as to what they think about this topic. 
and what, what their thoughts are. They might have some fears and concerns, things that they learned that were new. Uh, and so this can be 140 characters, but if you want them to have a little bit more space, it can be bumped up to 280 characters if you so choose. So, um, you know what? I love this blast. It's timely. I want to send this blast to my students. So to send it to my students, I'll say use a, a, a new blast assignment. Use for new blast assignment. And when I do that, uh, this screen will come up. And I'll go, who's my target? Well, my target's going to be my seventh grade class, right? When do you want it to be due? Uh, I'll have it due, let's say, on the 24th. Um, do I want to allow late work? I can choose that. Do I want those research links to appear? Now, notice what happens when I click yes. It let says, are you sure? You know, just understand that students are going to go out of the McGraw-Hill platform uh, and do some research. And if you like that, if you're cool with that, then you click uh, understand. And I'll say I click understand. Um, if I scroll down here, I can increase the length of the blast from 140 to 280 characters. Yeah, I think I want to give them a little bit more room. And then if I want to customize even further, I can click this Customize button. When I do, it will expand, and I can add my teacher instructions. You know, maybe I want them to do something a little bit different with this blast. Maybe I want them to share uh, with their blast uh, specific things. Maybe, hey, share three things that you learned while going through this, or three thoughts and three opinions, or, or whatever it is that I want to share with my students or have my students share with others I can do there. This is where I make the choice between Lexile levels. And do I want certain students to get different levels Excel levels? So I can, I can do this uh, right here. Uh, and so I scroll down, I make all the choices that I want. Uh, do I want student nicknames to appear? Yep, I'll do that for the students. And do I want to enable the peer reviews? This is where the students can uh, comment on other students' work. If I don't think I want to do that, I could disable that. But that's the fun part of this, where students are are working peer-to-peer, -peer, they're sharing their thoughts, they're collaborating, and it creates this community. And then I, cl I click create the assignment. Now I've already created the assignment, uh, so it's available to my students. So let's go on the student side to see what it looks like. So if I go to my Firefox menu here, and I go to my student, Jim is my student, we're out of the teacher side now, and I go to Sync Blast, waiting for me is that Sync Blast assignment. So here it is, coronavirus explained, okay? And I have nine more days to complete this. So anything that's assigned to you, assigned to them will show up right here, okay? So um, I'm gonna enter into this blast as a student and we pre previewed it as a teacher so, so we know what this looks like. And then when students are finally ready to share their blast, they can come in here and share their thinking related to this topic and submit that to you, the teacher. Now, they can't submit until they finish some of this other stuff. So they have to finish everything. Once they finish everything, they can submit that assignment. So SyncBlast is a tool that can be used to integrate current events into your class. Uh, it can integrate uh, cutting edge science. Uh, these can be made into assignments, into web quests. Um, and uh, you can turn your environment in the classroom to a very collaborative experience. These are great tools to be used in a remote learning environment as well, if many of you are teaching remotely right now. Know that when you have a sync blast, you have access to all of these. So how many times, I taught middle school science, and I had so many students that were so far beyond where I was in my class. Maybe I'd kick it up a notch with a high school chemistry assignment for that eighth grade student that's gifted and talented. Uh, and, and have them explore how chemistry and, and cosmetics work together. And what's involved with that and the science behind that? Boy, that's a really interesting topic. So uh, with all of these blasts available to, to you, you have the ability to really differentiate instructions for the students in your classroom. This has been an introductory video into sync blasts for science. And there are other management options that you can uh, use with the program. We can explore that at another time. If you have any questions about SyncBlast or are not using them and would like to, please don't hesitate to reach out to your local McGraw-Hill representative.